we have arrived. This will be my cabin for the weekend. <laughs> this black Nigerian girl, <laughs> dark skin, fine as hell, is at a cabin. <laughs> this is what my life has come to. I'm just joking. I'm excited. All right. Today's video is inspired by Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. And God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. Yes, sir. Welcome back, Team Kinks. It is Nappy Foo all up on your screen in a way I have never shown before. She's doing a vlog. Ah, ah, who's this girl? Who is this chocolate girl doing new things? It is me. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my first vlog. Nappy Foo checking in. Lego. All right, so first impression is this is pretty cute so for those who have not seen this face this is kofi my dog <laughs> i have a puppy he is what's this november <laughs> lies december he's going on six months so i got him in july my birth month so i guess this is kind of like my birthday gift to myself in a way this one is a handful but He's cute. And say hi. Say hi, Kofi Lopi. Hi. Named him Kofi because he looks like coffee to me. But I don't want to call him Coffee. So I just named him Kofi. And Kofi's actually a Ghanaian name. I am here first night. Just rolled up in the scene with the gangster lean. It is approximately oh, 1029. So I got here about 1015. To God be the glory, I made it here safely. Okay, hallelujah. Won't he do it? He always does it when you ask him to, and even when you don't sometimes, okay? That's what we call that favor, unmerited favor, okay? Sir, sir, okay. It looks super clean. I'm so happy about that. Um, you know, I said my prayers when I walked in through the door. Whatever is not of the glory of God has been prayed up out of here, okay? I don't know, y'all who travel, do y'all do that? When I travel and when I get to that hotel, girl, the prayers that I do, I even open the door and be like, get out in the name of in the name of Jesus, yes, yes, yes. So now I'm about to get ready for bed and we'll just see how it goes in the morning. Okay, coffee. Hey, which one is that? So, got my morning coffee going on. I like, let me get y'all zoomed in a little bit more. Okay. Woke up this morning feeling good and blessed. And um, I'm just very grateful to have this opportunity because... God didn't have to give it to me. You feel me? Coffee. I like to have coffee with creamer and um, almond milk. That's my thing. My, my creamer is usually oat creamer or almond creamer. And it already has a little bit of sweetener, like cane sugar in it. So that's all I need. Okay. That's fact, that's more than enough. Okay. This kind of stuff really speaks to my spirit. Um, my nature bubble was busted when I did a project in South Dakota. Okay. Um, so when I started traveling to places like South Dakota, Idaho, Oklahoma, that has a lot of trails, has mountains. I started doing all that stuff out there. And that is when I really discovered, this is probably, I don't know, eight years ago. This is when I discovered I really like outdoors. Like I've never done camping. Like even this experience here, like just being in a cabin, I have never. So now I have off my bucket list, you know, um, I would definitely would love to come back out here again, preferably with, you know, a husband. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying this is amazing. It's something about people say mother earth, feeling the energy come up from mother earth and just into your, your veins. At the end of the day, we are taking in what God has created. Okay. God all by himself. <sighs> and it feels great. y'all it's currently raining you know what i'm not even mad at it i think it's really beautiful <laughs> look as it's raining the leaves are falling this is i find it super relaxing go ahead and go away though i'm trying to take him on a nature walk i can't do it if y'all ran it 
If you are just sprinkling your little waters, okay. You know what y'all it's it's quite amazing how much connecting with nature you know that which is very natural it seems to be giving me a lot more peace than the material things i have at my house like it raining i thought was like dang but now i'm just like it makes it heightens this up for it heightens it up even more i'm not like my vocab my sat words they never they didn't stick with me from high school okay but uh i guess overall what i'm saying is it's so amazing how being out here in nature is actually giving me a lot more peace than the quote unquote self care stuff I do back in my normal environment. That's cool, but it doesn't compare to how this is making me feel. I got to this place in this book and it talks about idols, having idols, right? And she says an idol is anything that you give your strength to or draw your strength from. And then she mentions that um, it is where you go to get your life. You feel me? It could be what you run to as a refuge. This could range from something as mundane as food or as far reaching as your involvement with social networks. And then she mentions a passage that she uh, said earlier, how God is uh, our strength, life, and refuge. No person, relationship, organization, or thing is to have power over you except God. This is a part that made me want to stop and talk. For some of us, our feelings are an idol. If we feel beautiful, we believe we are beautiful. If we feel good, we believe we are good. If we live by our feelings alone, they will lie to us and it will not be long before we are led astray. The truth is you are beautiful because our God beautifies the meek with salvation. You are beautiful because God makes all things beautiful in their time. Come on. Do not allow the foolish idols and image makers of what this world calls beauty to speak into your life when God has already spoken blessing over your life. That hit me because when I say I'm feelings, I'm driven by feelings. Um, I am like when I feel something, I move with it. If I don't feel it, eh. but I'm learning that. Well, in some situations that can, that's applicable, but when it comes to how you see yourself, I am beautiful because that's how God made me. I am blessed. Cause that's how that's, that's cause I'm a child of God, you know, as opposed to I'm beautiful because I feel beautiful. No, I'm beautiful because I am God made me like that. So even so whenever I'm not feeling like it, that doesn't matter. It doesn't change the truth that I am still beautiful. You feel me? So this kind of spoke to me. I don't know. I'm hoping that bless somebody. So it officially stopped raining for now. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little cute. I'm going to get, I'm out here in nature cute, whatever that's going to look like. But definitely I'm going to brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower and everything. And Kofi's looking at me like, you know, I need to use this restroom. <laughs> and there we go. There goes the bark. Kofi. What we doing? What we doing, buddy? Come on. You know you want to come? There you go. You looking for the permission? What? Come through. Act like you're actually an obedient dog. Okay, keep this vibe going on. We get to Houston, okay? Okay. Okay, looks like I'm about to pretty much get my day officially started. Um, It's almost 12 o'clock, which means it's time for me to almost eat. So because of that, you gotta lay to bed. I have been trained, okay, by my daddy who's always said, as you lay your bed, eh? my Yoruba name is Bola. As you lay your bed, Bola, you lay your life. So if your bed is messy, eh? do you want your life to be messy though? That's, I added that part, but that's basically what he said. So I always lay my bed. It doesn't have to be a perfect lay. Life ain't perfect, but it needs to be some type of order. Okay, I'm just saying like, <laughs> we can't just be out here messy as heck. Okay, he can be a little messy but not as heck. All right, so with my 
my wig not tacked down so it might look a little obvious it is what it is no so i'm just gonna kind of make some stuff on the inside i'm gonna scramble some eggs i brought eggs and i brought some onions because i love onions so i'm gonna include that in there the only seasoning that i have is the salt and pepper they provide for you here and i'm going to eat that with combination of this right here these noodle things okay that's how we roll in today people do it i'm guessing so because i saw other people do it that's how i learned about it but i actually learned this from elementary the cook lady the cafeteria lady she she told me i was like how does the eggs always come out so fluffy i said something along that line she's like oh honey you gotta put a little milk in put a little milk and it makes it like that i was like oh okay so ever since i'm talking about elementary i'm, I'm in my 30s now i always put a little milk inside of my eggs only difference has been i used to use whole milk when i was down with the cows but now I'm not down with the cow, so I use almond milk. Tastes the same to me, okay? And I haven't had any complaints for the few boyfriends I've cooked for. So do you put milk in your eggs? Just curious to know. kind, merciful, faithful. I thank you for being that. I thank you for being all that I need and being all that I want, even in the moments when I don't realize it. I thank you, Lord. God, I am here amongst the beautifulness you have created, and I'm so grateful to be able to experience this, to be able to see, feel, smell, all cut that pain from you. Thank you, Lord. God, somehow, some way, this meal was cooked in this here cabin. Okay? I thank you for providing the food. Thank you for providing the ability to eat the food, taste it, take it in, taste buds, enjoying it, and it goes through my body. I thank you, God, for providing this meal. Please bless where it came from and bless where it's going. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, I'm probably going to be one of those mamas who pray for a long time. My mom is like that, and I used to always be like, oh, mama. But now, as I get older, I'm like, I'm probably going to be that mom. Yeah. It's okay. My kids will appreciate it, just like I appreciate my mom. <laughs> okay. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. Look what Kofi did to me, y'all. What kind of disrespect is this? Who's kind? Another note, definitely shouldn't have worn tennis shoes. I should have. I need to give me some rain boots. I need to invest in some rain boots for sure. <laughs> Let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head 
high Even if the sky is falling down Is this their shower? Okay, is there a light? Yes, there is. Boom, this is nice, yo. They give you a towel, awesome sauce. Of course, you got your foot towel. Let's see how the water comes out. Okay. Water pressure on point. I am just gonna enjoy the shower. Yes, I am. Who's rushing me? <laughs> Nobody. And Kofi's just gonna be over there chilling. Yeah. All right, buddy. And she's cleaned. Yay. So, I think now what I'm going to do is try to light the fire. <laughs> I mean, I might as well have, see how I'm already in the spirit by wearing reddish, red, well, it's like burnt orange, but nonetheless, when I say fire, this color is appropriate. So, <sighs> wish me luck. All right. So this is the campfire kit. Okay. Pretty dope. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. They are giving me the wood. Okay. And I have this little fire thingy. I already read the directions, so I'm gonna pull it like this, right? I'm gonna pull, and then I'm supposed to pull this up right here, so it'd be like a little burrito or whatever. And then I'm going to put the wood on top of it, and then light that sucker up. That's it. All right, let's try it out. starter kits okay i'm just saying so they gave me this s'mores kit so let's see what's inside of here all right Ooh, come on calories and cavities graham crackers chocolate with a g on it g for grace oh i think i did it on purpose and if so i'm loving it yes ma'am and then when I get married, I pray my husband likes to do stuff like this. And I hope that uh, we have a fire starter kit. <laughs> okay. Got it on here. Just gonna pull, pull that out. Okay. Smash it. All right, and here we go. Mm. all right so my fire is still going but i'm i'm good so i just lit a fire for the first time granted i use it a fire i use the fire kit but i still feel very accomplished so taking this off my bucket list start a fire done okay and make s'mores over it done okay <laughs>
everybody. I know it's kind of weird to be laying in my bed when I'm leaving today, but until I check out, it's still my bed. <laughs> and I always lay my bed. <laughs> as my daddy says, as you lay your bed, so you lay your life, okay? No, 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 let me say it like my daddy. Bola, as you lay your bed, so you lay your life. That's deep, y'all. And I'm pretty sure I will say this quote to my children. All right, so transparent moment, Team Kinks. I was not going to post this video. As you can see, I've had it since last year, okay? What, October, November time is when I took this trip. And I just sat on it because I was just like, are you sure you want to post it? Vlog, you're not really a vlog girl. But I feel like vlogs gives you way more insight into who that person is. And it gets and allows you to see them in a different light. And that is why I posted this. So I hope it helps someone. Hope you find it inspirational. If not, at least entertaining, Okay. But and, and even watching this video back as I'm editing it, I'm like, yo, I need another trip. Mm -hmm. But next time, I'm not going to pack like this. Oh. A whole luggage for pretty much one day. Uh, can I say I'm a part of those who are team overpack? Because I'm a part of the team that says, but you just never know. So let me just have this just in case. That's me. Yep. I'm a part of that team. Team Overpack, where you at? Let me know in the comment box below if you are the one who people always say, girl, you always overpacking. Yes, I know I'm the one and I'm okay with that. Cause you know what? Whatever I got in that luggage, I'm pretty sure you're gonna need it too. So you're welcome. Anyway, y'all, Getaway House is what I use to um, for this, this uh, weekend. It is to me a modernized way of camping for sure. Like you have a fully functional cabin house and most in like real real old school camping you being a tent now i'm working my way to that but this right here is close enough and i'm cool with it yes so that brings me to today's snapchat question have you gone camping let us know in the comment box below some tips and tricks you've used as a natural going camping okay trust me your response will definitely help the next natural out thanks in advance but we get up and start from the ground you enjoyed today's video if you did please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that i am all up on your screen also if you're bored during the week come on and hang out with me on instagram snapchat facebook all of that all, all, all of that and i will catch you on the next one team kinks remember in order to have a healthy mind body soul spirits all of that you got to do healthy things consistently. Take some time, y'all. Enjoy life while you have it. Grab your camera, capture the moments, make memories. Do a photo shoot like this one. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll catch you on the next one. Now, before checking out, deuces. <laughs> if I told you you were, if I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I